Okay, everyone, it's time for another classic, classic physics problem. And this physics problem, this one is about calculating the mass of a planet. And uh, we're going to divide that over the mass of the atmosphere of the planet. We'll call this ratio R. So we want to find find R for the Earth. Hmm. That's an interesting problem. We're going to have to estimate the mass of the atmosphere. Estimate. Estimate mass of atmosphere. That's the, the key to this thing. All right, we're given some primary data about the Earth. We have the diameter of the Earth. D is uh, 12,740 or so kilometers. And mass of Earth, of Earth, M, is 5.97 times 10 to the 21 tons. Okay, I'm given that. Okay, so we have this massive planet. We have that. And we have the uh, gravity, G, gravitational acceleration, and uh, gravitational acceleration, G, that's 9.8 meters per second squared for the Earth, right? And then one last thing we need is the pressure of the atmosphere, P. We're given these things, uh, 300,000 pascals, something like that. Okay, now um, let's try to use our intuition a little bit on this problem, okay? We have the Earth. The Earth is really big, and we're, we're all taught this, you know, impression that the atmosphere is really, really thin like this. It's it's really thin. It's like the skin of a potato compared to the Earth. So we're going to like have this impression that R is really, really big number, you know, like trillions or something like that. When you think about it, the atmosphere is so thin and the Earth is so big, you see. All right. M most of the atmosphere is even packed into a, just a 10 kilometer layer here so so much of it in so so thin a shell around the earth so this got to be trillions or billions or something but we will see that this intuition is not tr not correct it's not correct and if we do this problem correctly you get somewhat surprising answer at least it surprised me when i first did it all right how are we going to calculate this now Here's a typical bad idea, all right? Bad idea. We have the atmosphere, okay, here's some clouds. And you say to yourself, all right, well, I'm going to find the volume of this and their density of the atmosphere, so I'm going to I'm going to find the total mass is the density times volume there. So that is actually a bad idea. Because the density of the Earth, uh, sorry, the density of the atmosphere is a variable. It's uh, high here and low as you go higher. Uh, let's say this is about 10 kilometers up to maybe 15 kilometers. So maybe you've got 80% of the atmosphere in there already. So you know, the atmosphere varies, the, the, the density varies, so what are you going to do? And you're thinking, oh, okay, I'm going to use uh, calculus, so M is integrate uh, V uh, D, dx, uh, whatever, dv, like this. And th th This is a bad idea, okay, you, you don't want to do that either. Okay, you, you definitely don't want to do that because you don't even know how this function varies. So you're here, going down this route, you're violating principles of problem solving and the principle that we want to stick to is you have to know. You got to know how to simplify physics 
assumptions. Okay, you have to know what kind of simplifications to make. It's like poker, you know, you have to know what to do, right? You have to know. All right, so let's make simplifications, like some simple simplifications we can make is here. Uh, mass, all right, so that's 6 times 10 to the 21 tons. And G, we're going to simplify that and just make that 10 meters per second squared. I mean, in, the, in this world of calculators, uh, you don't really need to do that. But this is back of the envelope computation so we, we're, we're going to do it this way we're going to make simplifications and our pressure is a hundred thousand Pascal so that's our first simplification the next simplification involves this avoiding this bad idea so what are we going to do well if you take say one meter square there's a certain amount of atmosphere sitting on this one meter okay if we look at the earth, take a one meter square here, one meter by one meter, this goes up all the way into outer space and there's a certain mass of atmosphere sitting on top of that one square meter here, okay? It's not hard to calculate this. There's a force pushing down on this one square meter, force. And what is that force? Well, the pressure is 100,000 pascals, and that's the force per area on the Earth, okay? So if my area is one square meter, what's the force? Well, area times pressure is force, so we have one meter squared times 100,000 pascals, and that's a force of 100,000 Newtons. So there's a force of 100,000 Newtons pushing down on one square meter of your floor. Okay? See that? So how do we figure out the mass that's sitting on top then? Well, force is mass times acceleration of, due to gravity. Mass of atmosphere sitting on, the, on this is force divided by G, and we can estimate that it's about 10 tons. So on this one square meter, there's 10 tons of atmosphere sitting on top of it. It's quite amazing. Look at one square meter on your floor and imagine 10 tons of, of atmosphere sitting on top of that. It's quite interesting. Okay, great. Well, now what we need is the total surface area of the Earth so that we can find the total mass of the atmosphere. Okay, so surface area of the Earth. S is 4 pi r squared, but I don't have r, I have d. Hmm. All right, let's make that d. 4 pi d, d over 2 squared, so this cancels out when I square it. Pi d squared. Beautiful formula for the surface area of a sphere. Okay, so how much is that? That's 3.14159 da 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 times d squared, this thing. 12740 oh, kilometers all squared. Wow, it's going to be a big number, right? Really big number. So it turns out to be 5.1 times 10 to the 8 square kilometers. And if I want to change this to square meters, which I have to, it's 5.1 times 10 to the 14 meters squared multiplied by 1 million changed from kilometers squared to meters squared. Okay, so I have the surface area of the earth. It's the whole thing here. 5.1 million meters squared and each square meter has 10 tons of mass sitting on top of it. So, the total mass of the atmosphere is S times 10 tons. Okay, it, it's 10 tons per meter squared times S. So I get 5.1 times 10 to the 14. I'm, I'm doing it slowly to, to show you how the units work out, which is the most important thing in all of these calculations. 5.1 times 10 to the 15 tons. Tons. All right, well, let's calculate R. 
R is, what's the mass of the Earth? 6 times 10 to the 21 tons. 6 times 10 to the 21 tons divided by 5.1 times 10 to the 15 tons. I get a dimensionless number, something like 1.18 million. And so, the initial guess that the Earth's atmosphere is so small is negligible is not really true. I mean, the Earth itself, the Earth itself is one million times heavier than the atmosphere. Okay, that's a lot, but it's not as much as I thought it would... Uh, I mean, I thought it would be a lot more. I thought the Earth would be like a billion times heavier, a trillion times heavier than the atmosphere. But it's not. It's just not that heavy compared to the atmosphere. The atmosphere is about one millionth of the Earth. Very interesting, very cool problem. I, I love this problem. It was very enlightening. So, hey, since it's so enlightening, why don't you do some of them? I'm going to give you two versions. I... I went to the trouble of finding all this data, so you, you better do it, all right? So problem one, okay? We're going to compute the same thing for Mars. Here's the data for, for Mars. The diameter, diameter of Mars, 6,780 kilometers. Uh, the mass of Mars, 6.4 times 10 to the 20 tons. The... Uh, gravitational constant for Mars. Look, look, Mars' gravity is a lot smaller than, than Earth. And the pressure on Mars is really low. 640 Pascal. I mean, compare that to the Earth. It's really low. And here, Titan, the moon of Saturn, which happens to have a, an atmosphere that's pretty, pretty thick, okay, comparable to the Earth. You'll see diameter of Titan Diameter is 6,780. No, that's Mars. It's 5,000, sorry. <laughs> 5,150 kilometers. Okay. The mass of Titan is 1.35 times 10 to the 20 tons. Gravity on Titan is really low, 1.35 meters per second squared. And the pressure on Titan is actually quite a bit. Look at this. 147,000 pascals. Okay, go for it. Calculate the ratio here. R is mass of planet, mass of Mars, over mass of the atmosphere of Mars. And here too, find ratio, mass of Titan divided by mass of the atmosphere of Titan and compare all of this to the Earth. Which one's biggest, which one's smallest. Okay, that's it for this video.